Have you ever gone cold turkey? Now be careful because I'm going to say something different than what you think. Have you ever gone cold turkey on a sports team? <laughs> you thought I was going to say smoking, didn't you? I'm a non-smoker. So I can't go cold turkey on smoking. I don't smoke. <laughs> now really, have you gone cold turkey on a sports team before? This is open to people in Australia also. Because you have your soccer over there. I have. Back in the day, okay, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles moved from Veterans Stadium, which they were in for about 30 years, to a brand new stadium called Lincoln Financial Field. And they made this new rule at Lincoln Financial Field that we are not going to allow you to bring your own food in. What happened was somebody tried to bring in a hoagie, which in other parts of the United States are called subs. Some place call them heroes. Uh, they're basically ham, salami, uh, tomatoes, onions, on a long roll, about that long. I don't know if they have them overseas or not, but uh, they call them hoagies in Philadelphia. A uh, young man tried to bring a hoagie in, and he was refused admittance into the park. In other words, he could come in, he just couldn't bring his hoagie in. And other people noticed that the new stadium also did not have water fountains. Oh, they'll sell you a water for about $5, but he had no water fountains. And this became what was known in the news as Hoagie Gate. At that time, I looked at this, and I'm thinking, how could they be that way? I mean, if they allowed fans to bring food into the stadium... Then all of a sudden, they just cut it off. What are the fans to think? They're, they're charged more for their tickets every single year. So I decided, at that point, I was going to root for a new team. This is long before I moved to North Carolina. So I decided I was going to root for the Carolina Panthers. And Carolina Panthers it was. Carolina Panthers were horrible in 2010. A little bit better in 2011. And the outlook for 2012 was actually quite good. But I went cold turkey on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now I got the opportunity to go cold turkey again. I'm a fan of the Philadelphia Flyers. You can see their poster hanging on my wall. Living in the North Carolina area, now I am also a fan and a attender of the games of the Carolina Hurricane. Now, uh, let me get their hat. Okay, you'll know who I'm talking about when you see what I'm wearing. There you go. Carolina Hurricane. Right there. Hopefully I'll have a jersey someday. Carolina Hurricanes are not a great team right now. But they're getting better. But, uh, I get a lot of Flyers fans. This team over here. They're saying, oh no, you can't root for two teams. Well, I can understand the statement that I can't be a fan of two teams, but I can root for whoever I want. But if I'm forced to choose between the two teams, hurricane for the win. Should I go cold turkey on the Flyers? Now, I live down by this team now. I still root for that team, too. I attend the game of these guys right here. In fact, I've been to three games 
since 2010 between the Carolina Panthers, I'm sorry, the Carolina Hurricane, and the Philadelphia Flyers. This team over here could possibly win a championship this year. Now, yeah, I'm going to still root for them. But should I just say I'm a fan of one team? I'm not going to their games anymore. 500 miles away. Here, 100 miles away. But it's a fast 100 miles because the speed limit is 65 miles an hour going there. On a highway that's rather open. So I get there a little over an hour. What do you think? Carolina Hurricane? Philadelphia Flyers. Hurricane? Flyers. Hurricane? Flyers. Hurricane? Flyers. Who do you root for? Hurricane? Flyers. And should I switch my allegiance? Flyers fans don't want me being a fan of two teams. I'll root for two teams. But they said, no, no, you're not a real Flyers fan if you're rooting for these guys. So, that's my question. Am I 100% in the Carolina camp now? I live in Carolina. I watch both on the internet. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as usual, thank you for allowing me to bore you. And may your favorite team win the Stanley Cup. Bye.